Hello YouTubers. Today we're making perch croquettes. You've probably heard of salmon croquettes where we're going to make these with perch. Perch has a real sweet taste. It uh, doesn't taste real fishy. It's light and flaky. You're really going to enjoy these. You're going to take about two pounds of perch and either put that through a meat grinder or just cut it in chunks and put it in your food processor probably a couple of fillets at a time and mince them up, take it out and add a couple more until you get them all done. You're going to add some cracker crumbs. So you're going to take, I took a package of butter crackers, dumped them over in a Ziploc bag and crunched them up real fine. Doesn't matter if you have a few larger crumb, you know, chunks, that's going to be okay. And you're going to add that to the fish along with a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. You're going to mix this in thoroughly. By adding the cracker crumbs now, you're going to keep the fish from sticking together. So that way everything will be equally distributed out. Next, we're going to take a saute pan, add about a teaspoon of olive oil is enough. And I added three quarters of a cup of seasoned blend. The frozen is fine. And I added a half a cup of green onions. I cooked these about six or seven minutes and took them off. And then I put them on the, a plate and spread them out so they would cool. We're going to be adding a couple of eggs and some milk to the fish and if you have hot vegetables to go in there it's going to start trying to cook your eggs. So we're going to make sure this is cooled down enough to if you can touch your finger to it and it just feels warm that's great. That's great. That's going to work. So when it gets cool enough go ahead and add the sauteed vegetables in with your fish and mix that up. It's important that you add a, a dash of salt. We're going to be adding our eggs next. You're going to need to add a dash of salt and pepper to your eggs and milk mixture. Don't ever give up a time that you can season food while it's being cooked. It's better for you to add salt and pepper while it's cooking. The salt is not as bad for you and it equally distributes through the food while it's cooking. So be sure to add your salt as well as you can in, in with your food while it's raw. Next you're going to take two eggs, whisk them up, and you're going to add a quarter cup of milk. I use 2%. Plain old milk is fine. To the top of your mixture of your fish and your vegetables with your cracker crumbs, you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, I mean, sorry, a quarter teaspoon of garlic and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Mix that in real well. And then we're going to take one cup of panko breadcrumbs, put them in a shallow dish. After you get everything mixed up real well, your croquettes are going to feel kind of like they're still wet. Well, what I did was I took a tablespoon and just took me a big heaping tablespoon of it, put it in my hand, patted it out enough, and then put it over in the panko breadcrumbs and just lightly put them on each side and then place them straight over into our skillet that we had a teaspoon and a half, just one and a half teaspoons of olive oil is all you'll need to cook these guys. We're doing this low cow, low oil, not fatty. We're not going to dredge them in butter and all that good stuff. But he's going to taste fine without it. You're going to need to cook these about eight to ten minutes on each side. So you may want to start with a cold pan, get all your croquettes that you're going to cook in one batch in the pan and heat the pan up on medium heat. <clears throat> Once it comes up to medium heat, you're going to cook them 8 to 10 minutes on each side. What you'll do before you flip them the first time is you're going to use your spatula and lightly lift them up and see that they're starting to brown on the bottom. You need to make sure that they start to brown on the bottom because when you flip them, they will break apart if you don't. So you're going to Cook them 8 to 10 minutes on each side, then take them off and do the rest of your croquettes. This should make about 8 medium sized croquettes. I'll have the recipe listed below. If you have any questions, just give us a, a shout and I'll be glad to answer any questions. If we can help you out in any way, send us a message and we'll message and we'll do what we can. This is the pressure.